So in the previous videos, we looked at direct and inverse variation. We also looked at joint variation. And now it is time for us to discuss the topic partial variation. Now what is partial variation? Partial variation is a type of variation where a quantity is partly a constant and partly varies with another quantity. Now let's consider this case. Let's assume that you are a student and the cost of your school fees is partly a constant and partly varies with the number n of books you request. Now what this primarily means is that the cost of your school fees depends on two things. First of all, it depends on the fact that you have accepted to become a student of that school and so you are required to pay a fixed amount or a fixed amount of money. And secondly, it depends on the number of books you are going to request from the school. So now let's write down an expression from this statement. So let C be the cost of your school fees. And let N be the number of books requested. So now let's write down the expression. The cost C of your school fees is partly a constant. So we have a constant C E standing alone and so we are going to use the addition operation partly varies with the number N of books requested. So we have another constant B multiplied by n, the number of books requested. So this is the expression that we can generate from this statement. Don't forget that both a and b are constants. Now let's assume that when you accept to become a student of that school, you are supposed to pay a fixed amount of 1,000 Ghana CDs. So we have A to be 1,000 Ghana CDs. And let's say the constant B is 50. So from this equation, we have C equals 1,000 plus 50N. Let's call this equation 2. So this becomes the equation that determines the cost of a student's school fees. So given that student A makes a request of 10 books, so n is equal to 10, then the cost of the school fees of student A becomes C equals 1000 plus 50 times 10. So we have 1000 plus 50 times 10 is 500. So C becomes 1500 Ghana cities. That will be the cost of student A school fees. Let's say we have another student, student B, who makes a request of 20 books so we have C equals 1000 plus 50 times 20 now 50 times 20 is 1000 and then we have plus 1000 so the cost of school fees for student B becomes 2000 Ghana cities So you realize that the cost of a student's school fees is partly a constant, that is 1000, and partly varies with the number of books n that the student requests. So you can see from the case of student A e and then student B. 
student A makes a request of 10 books and the cost of his or her school fees is 1,500 Ghana cities. And then student B makes a request of 20 books and has his or her school fees being 2,000 Ghana cities. So now let's look at some relations we are likely to encounter when solving questions related to partial variation. So for the first case, we have x is partly constant and partly varies directly as y. So this becomes, we have x is partly a constant. So we have a constant term standing on its own. And then because we have end, we use the addition sign and then partly varies directly as y. So it becomes k times y. Now if you have x varies directly as y, this is how you are going to represent that. And then this becomes x equals ky. So that is exactly what we have here. Now let's move on to the second case. So for case 2, we have x is partly constant and partly varies inversely as y. So here we have x equals k1 plus k divided by y because x varies inversely as y. Now let's move on to the third one. Here we have x is partly constant and varies jointly as y and z. So x equals k1 plus x varies jointly as y and z. So we are going to multiply y and z and the constant k. So it becomes k, y, z. And for the last one, we have x varies partly as scale and inversely as the square, the square root of y. Now let's note the statement. x varies partly as scale. Here we have x is partly constant so here we have the constant term k1 on its own however for this statement it says that x varies partly as scale so this is basically a direct variation so we have x varies partly as scale we have k1 multiplying k and inversely as the square root of y so we have plus k divided by the square root of y so these are some of the relations we are going to encounter when we are solving a typical partial variation question now let's solve an example on that so for this question the cost c of reading a rectangular plot of land is partly constant and varies jointly as the length L and breadth B of the plot. For a plot of length 50 meters and breadth 20 meters, the cost of reading is 850 Ghana cities. And for a plot of length 40 meters and breadth 30 meters, the cost is 1000 Ghana cities. So I, we are going to find the relationship between C, L and then B, and then I, I, we are going to calculate the cost of reading a plot of length 60 meters and then breadth 50 meters. So for a question like this, we are given two sets of values for L, B and then C. So we are going to use these values to form two simultaneous equations. Then we can find the relationship between C, L and then B. And later on, we are going to plug in the values of L and then B to find the cost of reading a plot of land given that L is 60 meters and then B is 50 meters. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So let C be the cost of reading the rectangular plot of land. Let L be the length of the plot and let B 
be the breadth of the plot. So from the question, the cost of reading a rectangular plot of land is partly constant. So we have C is partly constant. So we have C equals K1 and partly varies jointly as the length L and breadth B of the plot. So we have the second constant K and because C varies jointly as L and then B, we are going to multiply L and B in addition to K. So this is the relation we have from the question. So we have C equals K1 plus KLB. Now let's call this equation 1. So given that the length of the plot is 50 meters and then the breadth is 20 meters, the cost of reading the field or the plot of land is 850 Ghana cities. And if L is 40 meters and then B is 30 meters, then the cost C is 1000 Ghana cities. Now we are going to plug in the values of L, B and then C into equation 1 to form two simultaneous equations. So let's start off with the first set. Now for the first set we have C to be 850. So that is 850 equals K1 plus K times L that is 50 times B that is 20. So 850 equals K1 plus now 50 times 20 is 1000. So we have 1000 K. Let's call this equation 2. And then for the second one, we have the cost being 1000 equals K1 plus K times 40 times 30. So this becomes 1000 equals K1 plus 40 times 30 is 1200. So we have 1200 K. Now let's call this equation 3. Now because the coefficient of K1 for both equations are the same, then we are going to use the elimination method to eliminate K1 so that we can find the value of K. Then we substitute the value of K into any of the equations to find K1. So that is what we are going to do next. So here we have equation 2 minus equation 3. Now equation 2 is 850 equals K1 plus 1000 K. And equation 3 is 1000 equals K1 plus 1200 K. So equation 2 minus equation 3 becomes 850 minus 1000 becomes negative 150. K1 minus K1 is 0. And then 1000 minus 1200 is negative 200. So we have K, negative 200K. So this becomes negative 150 equals negative 200K. We divide through by negative 200 and then we have k to be 3 over 4 which is 0 0.75 so the value of k is 0 0.75 so next we are going to substitute the value of k into any of the two equations to find the value of k1 so from equation 2 
we had 850 equals k1 plus 1000 k and then we had the value of k to be 0 0.75 so we have 850 equals k1 plus 1000 times 0 0.75 1000 times 0 0.75 is 750. We are going to transpose 750 to the left hand side. So we have 850 minus 750 equals K1. So that K1 is equal to 100. So the value of K is 0 0.75 and then K1 is also 100. So these are the two constants. So now let's write down the relationship between C, L, and then B. So from equation one, we had the expression C equals K1 plus KLB. So let's substitute the values of K and K1 into this equation. So we have C equals 100 plus 0 0.75 times L times B. So this is the relationship between C, L, and then B. Now let's solve for II. For II, we are asked to calculate the cost of reading a plot of length 60 meters and then breadth 50 meters. So we are just going to substitute these values into this equation. Let's say this is equation 4. So we have C equals 100 plus 0 0.75 times 60 times 50. Now 0 0.75 times 60 times 50 is 2,250. So 2,250 plus 100 is 2,350. So the cost of reading a plot of land of length 60 meters and then breadth 50 meters is 2,350 Ghana cities. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.